All right. Something I haven't demonstrated, which I probably should have a while ago, is jute twine. Picked up a 600 foot roll. Uh, tractor supply the other day it was like five bucks. Stuff's great for making charred material, making a flash style tinder bundle, and even for you know light lashing. You can make a quick tripod with this. Just don't expect it to last a full season. It'll get you a couple days. Nothing real heavy. To make the bundle, this was made out of a length about the same length, about three feet or so. All you have to do is start ripping away at the shards and processing it down. You can see you get these real fine pieces of material as you process it down. And you simply just keep doing that until you get all the way through your piece of rope. Now, if you're going to make a fire with this, you have to be ready real quick. This is a very flash type tender bundle. It's not going to be prolonged. It's not going to give you a long-lasting flame. It's more like uh, a cattail that you'd find in nature. As opposed to, say, inner bark from a tool poplar. So, this with some more marginal material for a tinder bundle will work great. This alone with wet wood will not work as great. So, ferro rod, we'll see how this works for you. As you can see, flash fire. But look how fast that material dies down. You can extend the life by spreading it around a little, but generally that little bit of flash isn't going to be enough to get you a fire. So like I said, add it with some more inner barks that's more marginal. Throw in um, maybe some shavings. Whatever you have. Gorilla tape as an extender, and it'll work fine. Also, remember you can char this, just like other natural materials, uh, or cotton. It works great for accepting fire from flint and steel. Any questions, please feel free to comment. I will gladly answer them. Look forward to seeing you next time.